Nope. Today was going to be a, wasn't going to be a hat day, but yeah, no. Nah. Right. <laughs> What's up guys, sgoblin52 and welcome back to this week's deck review. Make sure you stick around for the end of the video where I'll be teaching you my favourite full shuffle tutorial. So this week we have the Esther Star playing cards. I picked these up on the Kickstarter campaign. Um, I'd already got the Helios Sun and the Lunar Moon so I thought well I'm better complete the collection. So um, yeah I was fortunate to pick up these. These are the third instalment of the Fang Tuck Case series which is a very celestial project by Kevin Yu and the Bocopo Playing Card Company. I uh, did a bit of research, I found out that the actual cards themselves are printed by USBCC on air cushion finish. Um, the tuck case uses German foil paper, or German Kurtz paper, which uses seven times the amount of paper than a normal USBCC card box. Um, and apparently the paper is nine times more expensive than um, any other paper around, so um, it just makes that overall limited supply even more um, sort of do you know what I mean? Prestigious, um, because it is one of the most expensive papers used, apparently. Um, the fan design itself takes 15 to 20 minutes to assemble by hand. The back design features an emerald nebula, it keeps encompass it with the, uh, with the cards there. And you can't really see in this lighting, but it's got this, sort of, this gold pattern uh, in the middle, which is the Star of Hope and the moons on either side. Um, like the uh, the other card, they spring quite well. They fan amazingly, and the pattern on the fan look really good. They come with two jokers, which are non-identical. They come with a fully customised ace of spades, which is the same on pretty much any playing cards apart from the Madisonists. Court cards have an ambiguous... Court cards have an ambiguous ambiguous protagonist, if I can get that out. There's no discernible features on there. Uh, and the black pips have been replaced with the green. So they are fully customised, but not customised enough that you can't do magic with them. If you're new to this channel, um, you may not be aware, but we do a different kind of um, review. So instead of reviewing this out of 10, I'm going to review this out of 4 categories of 13, adding up to a total score of 52. And those categories are aesthetics, durability, handling and practicality. So for aesthetics, I've scored an 11 out of 13. Handling, 10 out of 13. Durability, 9 out of 13. And practicality, 6 out of 13. Giving it an overall score of 46 out of 52. Okay guys, I'm gonna go set the camera upstairs and then get into the tutorial. Hi guys, so this is a great deceiver if you ever want to fool the um, spectator as to the fact that you may have fully lost the card. So what you're going to do is hold it in a bit of grip here. I'm going to swing it off about half the deck and hold it between your thumb and your index finger. While that's happening, you're going to roll your ring finger underneath on your left hand and grip it like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle between your little finger, middle finger and your pointer finger. While that's happening, you're going to break off a packet of the deck and you're going to extend this out and put that packet between your thumb and your point finger here, 
whilst holding the first original packet extended like this. As that comes back across and you're going to put it so it's over the top here, you're going to break off another pack at the deck and come back across and grab everything in the middle between your ring finger and your thumb in your right hand. So you've got a triple pack going on here like this. The one that is being held by your middle finger is going to pivot out onto this deck of cards here using your thumb. So as a pivot point, you're going to move this out so it's on the top. Now this leaves you with two packets left. What you're going to do is going to three card Monty throw the top packet here with your pointer finger onto the top there. Ideally not dropping the card, but you know, here we go. And then this packet here, you're going to throw onto the top like that. So in fast motion, it's kind of looking like this. And that should leave the cards in exactly the same order that they were at the start. Okay guys, um, I'm all showered, I'm all ready for the day. And uh, now that tutorial video is over, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find the tutorial interesting, I hope you find it helpful. Remember, it's about m muscle. Remember, it's about m muscle. Memory, so you just got to keep practicing daily and it will just come naturally. When I first started learning this, when I first started doing this, um, I couldn't get it down and it just seemed mind boggling to me, much like cardistry does. But you just keep practicing and you'll be able to get it down, guys. So. If you want to see more, make sure you hit like, make sure you comment below anything that you want to see, any decks you want to see reviewed, and remember, hit subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the events that's going on that's coming in 2019, because trust me, it is going to be my year!